I got no idea what to expect here. But let's take a look. Sun is out here. I just noticed a couple of spots in that corn over here on this side that makes me say, okay, need some water. It rained so much here last year, I never saw any drought stress whatsoever in the corn that uh, cousin had here last year. But there's corn over here on this lower side that's got uh, it's got that drought stress look to it. Color's different. Leaves are curled up. I'm not walking back over there. Finish this little job and go to the house and get lunch. I was driving back to the house to get lunch and I'm down here by the little triangle shaped field and I looked over here and noticed it too. Uh, it's that drought stress you see in corn. I'll walk right up this row and show it to you. Soybeans are a lot more drought tolerant than corn. Okay, you look at the ground I'm walking on, it's red clay. This is the center spot, the poorest spot in this little field. And you get over here and start seeing leaves, corn will turn its leaves up and curl them. And you can start to see them in here. That's early signs of drought stress right there. This plant's curling its leaves up to conserve its moisture. You can see something similar happen in soybeans when they get drought stressed. But the bean fields we've been roaming around in this morning look fine. But that's the nature of corn. It takes a lot of water. And if it don't get it, it's... But hey, guess what? It's going to rain here tomorrow. So it'll all be fine. I was just showing you a close-up of what I observed in that other field. Now, for real, let's go get lunch. Woke up this morning to a really good rain shower. In fact, it was uh, coming down so heavy I could hear it on the roof of the house really, really well. And then it spent about the next two hours with just a soft, gentle rain. So I'm excited to walk over here now and uh, see what we got in this rain gauge. So uh, it's always fun to go see what's in the rain gauge after you've had some rain. I got no idea what to expect here. But let's take a look. This is my rain gauge out by the old dog pen here. Uh, kind of had this thing. My wife got this thing for me through forever and ago. The thermometer on the things never worked right. But hey, a rain gauge is a rain gauge. All right, let's see what we got here. Impressive. Yeah, that'll wet things down good. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. Wanted to come back over here and take a quick look at this, uh, what I call the little triangle shaped feel where I was showing you the drought stress starting to show up in this corn yesterday afternoon as I was headed in to get lunch. And with two inches of rain, uh, there ain't no drought stress out here now. But it looks like must have got a little violent out here. I'm looking down there on the ground and seeing some stalks knocked over. I am not walking out there and mess up my shoes in this mud. There's uh, one on the end right there you can see knocked down. And uh, another one on the end knocked down. Another one there knocked down. But uh, no drought stress. Good drink of water here. Two inches is uh, a good drink. You can see down there where the edge of the field looks. In fact, there's a little slimy walking out here on the edge. You know, get my shoes all messed up and have to clean them up. There's another piece knocked down. But yeah, that's right on time what this field needed. Like I said, beans will take drought a lot better than corn. Corn uh, needs to keep water on it pretty regular. 
last year never saw any kind of drought stress. I mean, we had rain every week, sometimes twice a week. Let's go up there and look at the other end of the bean field right quick while we're out here. I mentioned yesterday when we were back here uh, looking at the six acre field that um, down here on this short row side, the planters seem to do a lot better. So I thought I'd give you a, a walk down this way this morning and let you see what's going on here. I mean, those rows look really nice to me. So uh, see if I can walk, hold camera stable. They're full, that's the kind of rows I would love to have an entire field of. There's my little wide streak again. But I was just like, yeah, that's that's what I wanted it to do. <laughs> and there's my little wide streak again. Now, I got a little spot right here. There was a lot of grass in it. You see, I got a good grass kill. And been, been, blah, blah, blah. yeah, try that again. The beans look thin. Um, what it is, is they're just way behind. That grass got way up on top of them and was choking them down before I went in here and sprayed. And yesterday morning while I was up here, you know, working in this, I took some of that um, Agrahance uh, vegetative stage foliar spray and mixed it up and went out there with the backpack and just sprayed every one of those plants with it and i can actually see more green in them this morning so as an experiment to you know test that product see how really good that product works i'm going to spray those plants several more times and see if they actually catch up with uh what's around them um i'm always messing around experimenting with stuff but see, as I get over here a little more lined up, you can see that, you know, the plants are there. It's a good even space on them. So it'd be interesting to see if that product's really good enough to get those plants that lag behind to catch up with everybody else. But it's just, that's the kind of row population there that I was hoping to get over the entire field. This spot down here has always done fairly well it's a difficult spot to harvest though um, we get a lot of moisture in the fall when it's time to harvest you got a mud hole in here and my little wide spot again now over here um, it turns it yes you know, good soil here but just about right there it turns into sand and things get a little thinner sand doesn't have the nutrients in it but i laid the fertilizer to it and the ph is right i've been liming this land and got it you know like it's supposed to be deer jumped in on this and so this is a little bit behind and then there was something interesting that i did different usually with the grain drill i would just blend it well the field's not square and I've just reached the corner of the field, as you can see that line right there. But you see the rows, um, I stayed on parallel line with the way the thing is at the other side of the field. And now you can see the sharp angle as it come across this corner. And I just stayed on that parallel line and finished up the corner that way and then did a straight end dress down that way. And of course, spraying's tricky. But I thought I'd show you all this side of the field. Uh, end dress looks good there. Man, it feels good out here today. Well, everybody, I think I'm going to go get some work done. Walk back up here to the truck. Put out some more of that uh, Agra Hans, uh vegetative stage foliar spray. I think stuff works. I've seen some really good progress in a field up front. Uh, hard red clay area. Got a lot of fertilizer in it. Uh, 
got lime in it and been applying this foliar, foliar spray to it and plants look great really be interesting to see if that stuff really works that well if it does i'll be using it from here on out the nice thing about it is you can put it in the tank mix with your herbicide well that's enough of that everybody thanks a bunch for watching thanks for being here god bless each and every one of you and i hope you have a happy and uh, safe fourth of july holiday celebration with your families bye y'all